A boot camp like this really, really helps us to understand the way of partnering with other grantees in the program. It's a fantastic opportunity to mingle with similar mindset entrepreneurs and especially the founders who have experienced the same early stage what we are sharing and have already succeeded. It's very unusual in the startup ecosystem. The part that interests a lot for me is the fundraising session. We can see how different stakeholders mobilize resources to sustain their business. We have learned how we can collect collaborate with MNOs and how we can negotiate with them. We are also having a lot of knowledge sharing from different technical aspects. The most important thing that I would take from this bootcamp was the storytelling session from the alumni and the current grantees. It was really great to hear the success and failures of other grantees. What worked for them, what didn't work, what could have been better, where we can anticipate failures, how to overcome them. Those stories really motivate us to keep going. This type of event is extremely crucial for founders. I have been in many events like this and it helped me to be the founder that I am right now. We can get many learnings and many specific tips and tricks about growing the company, fundraising, sales and building the team. And most importantly, it creates a sense of community amongst founders to help each other to assure that you stay true to your mission. The networking opportunities were really invaluable, allowing us to showcase our project and explore potential funding partnerships. This engagement not only broadens our support network, but also opens avenues for future collaboration that can help us amplify our impact. I had a lot of engagement with a number of exciting startups, and there's a lot of learning for the philanthropic sector, particularly corporate philanthropy, to learn and to adapt how the new startups are going about social impact. Events like this are really important for the founders of startups to be able to discuss the challenges they face and to find solutions together to some of these problems. And also for GSMA to broaden the networks of the startups that they work with and provide more opportunities for sustainability. Many startups have the opportunity to expose to other countries to scale up their business. As an investor, it's really great to be able to talk to companies from different countries to get a global perspective and hear about how they are each tackling the problem that they are dealing with. Before, I could not prove my tea grows with biodiversity, but with input from the ESMA, we can now afford to start to develop a tool to measure the biodiversity. With the GSMA Innovation Fund, we're working with the dairy sector in Nepal and we're hoping to use this fund to really expand and build the business model of using the technology in the dairy sector. During the course of the GSMA funding period, we aim to add more features that will help farmers to have a better operation on a daily basis. We are hoping that farmers get awareness that the technology is important for them, so they get into adoption of agricultural technology. I can still recall my last visit in Rwanda, and on that time I was a general grantee. I have learned so many things from that event, and this time after two years, I am one of the panelists to share my experience to new grantees. The GSM Innovation Fund is all about the power of making connections and partnerships. What was really impressive during the past two days is to hear such inspiring stories from our alumni and to see the different grantees interacting with each other, which hopefully will form the basis of future partnerships.